Hi there, my name's Tony Ruby. I live and work in and around the Grantham area and the associated villages. Uh, I live on Gunnaby Hillfoot. It's very much my home. It's where the kids go to school. It's where we work. It's where we socialise. It's where we play and it's where we do our business. I'm lucky enough to be able to see from my uh, window here the spire of the magnificent St Wolfram's Church in the centre of town. And today I am joined by Father Stuart Craddock, who's given us some time just to talk through things, how, to, how he's adapting to life under the current situations. Hi, Father Stuart, how are you? Hey, Tony, I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time this morning. I know you're really busy today, so thank you very, very much. Um, obviously, you're just about to hit your sixth anniversary, coming into your seventh year, I think, in the next couple of days. Um, so you've been in the area now for some time. What is it you love about Grantham? What do I love about Grantham? Well, I mean, there's so much, really, isn't there? Um, there's the open spaces, uh, transport links, there's all the different opportunities really. There's so much, so much going on, actually more than what people think and know about. So, you know, and, and of course I have to mention, of course, you know, what do I love most about Grantham, St. Wolfram's and of course my little church at Manthorpe. Yes. And amazing buildings. Yeah, they are indeed. They are. I mean, I think Grant, uh, St. Wolfram's is iconic. And for those who don't know, um, St. Wolfram's is the third highest spire in the UK, excluding cathedrals, and the sixth highest if you include cathedrals. So it just shows how magnificent that building is. It really is an iconic symbol, I think, of what our town is all about. Yeah. And, and what is it, Father Stewart, that you like about the Grantham people? Oh, that is a really good question. Um, not an easy one to answer, because actually there's... You know, Grantham people are, are unique. They really, really are. Um, I think it's I think it's really the ingenuity uh, mm -hmm. of people and how they approach life. Um, um, there's there's there's, there's um, the diversity within town. Really deep within people's uh, minds in Grantham is that a passion for fighting the things that really, really affect them and challenge them. It really, really is uh, impressive, um, it, uh, and it's it's just a great place. It really is. Yeah. So with that, with all those challenges, like you said, probably the one thing that connects everything is the community. Well, well it might be quite diverse, but the community strength is pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, really, really good. And you know, we're seeing that so much more now. You know, eight eight o'clock, I get a huge round of applause when I go to put out my bins um, out outside on the drive. But of course, actually. The noise is getting louder and louder and louder each week um, when, when everyone's coming outside clapping for all those who are caring for us on the front line. It really is amazing. It is. It, is. it brings me up in goosebumps. It, it brings a bit of a tear to the eye when, whenever I join in on that uh, Thursday night at 8 o'clock. It's quite a moment, quite a highlight of the week, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So the people of Grantham over the years, uh, your six years now nearly, they, they've taken you very much to their heart and equally it sounds like you have them too. Um, why do you think that is? I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people are taking me up. I mean, this, 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 this thing is called the great and good of Grantham. I don't know why you're talking to me. Uh, I really don't at all. Um, you know, I've no idea why people might have taken me to heart. I'm just, I'm just just me yeah um, and i think i think that's that what i what i've what i've you know gleaned so far is that you know very very different approach to what is probably seen as being quite a um stiff and outdated role there i say but you have a much it, more it, flexible stiff approach. And outdated, no <laughs> yeah and, and i think it's <laughs> phenomenal events at st wolfram's i mean obviously i've been to numerous services for various different events but um, some of the things that stick in my mind are uh, perhaps the adaption now of the building to be a central hub for things like the uh, Grantham Beer Festival, which is uh, quite, I think, um, innovative. And also as a venue for the Grantham Business Awards, crikey, what a place, what a, on a night, it's absolutely buzzing, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, but but do, you know, do you know what I'm doing is nothing new, nothing oh. new at all. You know, it's, it, 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 St. Wolfram's has been there for over a thousand years. And it's yeah. seen all of this in the past. Yeah. What I'm doing is is just a reinvention of, of what that building always always did. You know, it was a place where people um, sheltered their livestock in storms and all the rest of it. It was the marketplace. It was the meeting place. Yeah, we've got big flashy planes it now. But you know, it, the 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 
you know, a house of prayer, a place of welcome is is all that it, it is what a church is. And yes. you know, um, it's difficult at the moment because we we can't open our doors properly. No, no. but yeah, um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a funny. People think I'm 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 doing all these amazing things, and I'm really touched that by that. But all I'm doing is trying to express something that's what that building is about. Really, it's about holding people, being there for people, being a place of prayer, being a place for inclusivity, and all that sort of stuff. You know, yes, yeah, there's nothing yeah. new about it. No, I think it's amazing. And obviously, you say it's been a thousand years there, and it'll be there for another thousand years after we're all gone. Um, well, I hope so. I don't know the bills. Where the bills are coming in at the moment, I'm not sure. All right, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, you've been connected to Grantham now for six years. What What was your history before that? Where were you Where were you located? So, uh, well, uh, born and bred in West Cumbria. So I'm I'm a proper northerner, not not like you people from the east, uh, from the Midlands. The Midlands. Um, but but I moved. Um, away from home as, uh, as quickly as possible to go as far as possible to get some independence and to Chichester. And actually Chichester is where I've spent most of my life really, um, well, certainly in the south anyway. Uh, we moved from, I moved from Cumbria down to Chichester, um, read music with uh, and then went up to my vicar schooling in Oxford, went back down to Chichester for my first job, round about that area, then moved to St Albans Cathedral, then went back to Chichester for, a, for a job and then came from Chichester to here. So, um, been married for 20 years, uh, got two children, can't do my job without my wife who supports me in so many different ways, it's unbelievable. Um, and then we dragged them up to Grantham. Um, and we dragged them up to Grantham, I dragged them up to Grantham, really, because of the huge potential that I saw both in the town and at St. Walter's beautiful life down in the west on the south coast mm-hmm. with the sea and the South Downs and Goodwood Race Course and uh, you know but it was the potential which had brought me here. It was quite a move then wasn't it? Was, was there other were there other towns in the running or was Grantham the only one for you? Yeah, yeah there was. I mean uh, Chesterfield wanted me, Crooked Spire. Um, and uh, but I but I had to be interviewed uh, for this job, and there were five others. I didn't think I was going to get this job, um, but I did. Yeah. And um, there were a lot more experienced people than me in the running. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. But you haven't looked back since, by the sound of it. Oh, I look back all the time. <laughs> 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 but, but but you know, I, be, being the rector of Grantham is not an easy job, and it's not one day a week. And, um, you know, it's full of challenges. Um, and, you know, the best lesson I've learned is actually I can't please anybody. Mm. And I don't mean that in a nasty way. Mm. I've just got to, you know, that actually, um, and I'm not talking about church people. My mm. biggest critics are people who don't come to church. No, really? Yeah, you know, so my post bag increases sixfold when we're, when we're approaching the beer festival every year. Mm-hmm. But it's not from people from church. It's from people who don't come to church and tell me yeah. how I should run my church. But, yeah. it, you know, it's fine. It's all part of the life. Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Though obviously, people have an opinion and they're, they're, always, they're, always, they're free to voice it, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but it's interesting that actually the biggest critics are people who perhaps don't take the time to come to the, to come to the church or come to see you or come to any services or, or anything like that, or actually come to some of the events, which I think are just phenomenal. You know, the, the, the other thing that sticks in my mind is the Gravity Fields event where you had the big moon hanging in the middle of the, uh, the, the building. What a, what, you know, what a spectacle. Yeah, just amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, could you tell me anything interesting about the town of Grantham that people might not necessarily know? Uh, well, there's all these tunnels, isn't there? There's talk of tunnels. Hmm. From St Wolfram's. Oh, is that? Well, do they exist or don't they? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd like to say yes or no, but I think people should uh, just think a bit more about it, maybe. Yeah. Explore and think about where they could be and where they couldn't be because they might or they might not exist. Ah, so you're not giving anything away on that front, then? You... Well, 
No, I mean, because I don't want to upset people. Because some people will say, actually, he's just he's telling a load of fibs. They don't exist. But maybe they do. Maybe they do. A, a myth of Grantham that needs exploring, perhaps. I think it does. It needs some proper investigation. Because yeah. people could be quite surprised. So you mentioned challenges before, but is there anything sort of, you know, what the major challenges been since you arrived in our area in May 2014? Um, I'm going to bang on about it, actually, because actually it's really, really important. Money is really, really difficult. I've got a, a building, certainly at St. Walton's, where, you know, it's, it's bigger than some cathedrals, but is not as resourced. Uh, we don't have as many staff. We don't have as much money and all the rest of it. And keeping the building standing is huge. And people think that we're, we're, we're financed by the national uh, church. Actually, it's the other way around. We're a franchise. You know, okay. we have to pay them uh, X number of thousand pounds a year. Um, and this year is going to be really, really difficult for us. Financially, mm -hmm. we were very, very worried about this year. Yeah. Um, I suppose, really, what's the biggest challenges? You know, I think, I don't know, really. Okay. Money is a big challenge with a building like that. What would you but, reckon the, the, the average monthly or weekly running cost is of a building like St. Wolfram? So people it's get 500 quid a day. 500 pounds a day? A day, yeah. 15,000 pounds a month? Yeah. Good Lord. Wow. Okay. And, and I suppose when you don't have the opportunity to have congregations as we are at the moment, a bit like a football club, for example, you haven't got anybody coming through the turnstiles, have you, to pay, yep. their, to pay their little dues if they want to? Yeah, we haven't got visitors. We haven't got coffee shop open. We we'll think we're going to be at about a £50,000 deficit this year, which Couldn't is say. really yeah, so that's going to be your biggest challenge since you've been here, without a doubt. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is there but, one... You know, well, yeah, I, I, it, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, it's a hell of a hell of a hurdle to come over, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything? There are worse things, you know. There are worse things. Of course, you know, there I are. did. I did two funerals yesterday of COVID victims. You know, um, let's put it in perspective. You know, yeah, that brings it home a little bit, doesn't it? It sort of yeah. draws a line to where things really stand. Is there anything you could change about Grantham? If you had one thing you'd change about Grantham, or one thing you'd keep the same about Grantham, what would it be? <laughs> I think, well, yeah, I mean, what's got, um, we do have a homeless problem in issue, not problem, problem's the wrong word. We do have a homelessness issue in Grant. And as we did like, earlier this year was to open up churches. We did it with the Methodists, we did it with the Roman Catholics, and we invited people to come and sleep in the churches. So that would be one thing I'd want to change in Grant, to try and solve that issue, because it is an issue. And, you know, since COVID came, the council have had to across the whole district i've had to house um 32 people we had we had um on an average about eight to ten people sleeping in the churches each night from january to march um that's one thing i'd want to change yeah. it's not unique to Grantham, but mm -hmm. i'd want to want us to change it yeah. one of the things which is always want to keep the same i think it's the green spaces in Grantham, you know but it's also all the different independent local businesses that we have as well um, and I'd love, love to see those thrive and grow um, even more. Yeah, I think there's an opportunity to do so after this as well. I think people recognise <clears throat> the value in, in, in experience and you know, their expertise, you know, decades of experience that they're applying to whatever trade they might be in. Uh, doesn't yeah. come at the same price as some others, but you, know, it, it, you do get a guarantee of quality, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Would you give me one word to describe Grantham and its people? Tenacious. Tenacious. Good word. Good word. And then a bit of a teaser well, question. Get the bit between their teeth. That's it. Mm, that's you know? it. The goal in mind. But yeah. Any any full road to get there. Um, once this is all over, it's a bit of a teaser question, really. You know, you've done what you need to do. Um, you've perhaps got a bit of time to yourself, which might be quite rare. What does a day look like to you? Where will you go? Who will you see? What will you do? I'm quite food focused. <laughs> and if you look at me standing up, I mean, black's, black's so thinning, it's brilliant. But <laughs> I'm quite food focused. I, I think I'd have to start the day with uh, the garden yard at uh, uh, near towards Asda. 
Yes. Um, but for some for some cake in the morning. Then then I think lunch at teaspoons. Uh, afternoon tea at Oblio's and then a curry from Gurkha Square. Gurkha Square in the evening. Yeah, and sounds fantastic. Sounds fantastic. Well, those days hopefully will not be far away from us once these storm clouds have passed. Yeah, I hope um, so. I don't know. They're going to try and put you on the spot a little bit. I don't know if you want to deliver a prayer as part of this for the situation we find ourselves in. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, happily, happily. That's what we do. It's what I'm here for. You know, this is my primary thing. It's not to do with all the events and everything. There's a priest. I'm mm-hmm. here to pray for people. That's why, that's why I wear this around my neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's what my primary job is. So, sure. no, thank, Tony, thank you. Um, it's been a real privilege, this. It really has. And um, I'm really grateful that you consider me to be part of this. Yeah. For me, it was one of the first on the list, uh, Father Stuart. So, uh, Get away. A lot of people I know, uh, <clears throat> I don't know you so well. Um, I've met you probably on a couple of occasions, but you meet a lot of people. Uh, but a lot of people I've spoken with over time, they've always had very, very positive things to say about what you've brought to this town and what you've brought to the church and the community, uh, and the wider community as well. I don't mean the church community. So, I, I can't thank you enough for what you've done in your six years here so so far. I uh, hope it's uh, a long, long um, connection we have with you and you with Grantham. Uh, and I thank you very much for your time today. I know you're very busy. Um, and in my mind, like I said, I think you're one of the pieces of the jigsaw that make up the great and good of Grantham. So thank you very much for your time today. It's my pleasure. Thank you.